Good afternoon, Rich Nass with Embedded Computing Design. I'm here with Michael Benz of Wind River. How you doing, Michael? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. So we're at the uh, Intel Solutions event uh, here in Nuremberg as, as part of the whole embedded world. And at, um, at this event, we're showcasing some of the Intel technology, some of the Wind, Wind River technology, and we're running on super micro hardware. So Michael's gonna walk me through exactly what we're doing here. So what, what is this demo? What are you, is it that you're showing here? So the, the demo itself is a medical imaging uh, demo using artificial intelligence to try and uh, predict uh, brain tumors based on MRI images. Okay, what does that mean using artificial intelligence? What exactly are you doing with so, the AI? So there's a TensorFlow-based model that I'm, I'm passing, a, a, training it with a bunch of images that have and don't have, so it mm -hmm. knows what doesn't, what does. So in other words, a radiologist has looked at those and predicted if it has or does not have a tumor. Mm -hmm. And then there's images you can go through and select in an application um, and click a predict button and it will tell you if it has a tumor or not. Interesting. So where does Intel fit? What what hardware are you yeah, running so, so the hardware is a Intel Xeon 5 based mm -hmm. motherboard with an Arc GPU in it for, for GPU compute. I'm also leveraging OpenVINO technology for their inferencing models. Okay. And, and go ahead. And Wind River's contribution? So Wind River, um, it, so it's running Elixir, which is our binary offering of Linux. Okay. And that operating system is different from other Linuxes. Why? Um, well, it's it's different in a way that uh, we're leveraging the heritage of Wind River. So mm -hmm. we've been doing Linux for 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, company's been around for 42 years. Uh, very well understands the security issues across the board. Um, it's a smaller, more performant offering. So we've optimized it for these type of workloads mm -hmm. or edge edge use cases. Okay, and you mentioned the years. What are we doing in terms of long life support for this? Because these are expected to be in operation for a long time. Yeah, so it, it kind of depends on the use case. So if it's in an IT workload, they typically update more frequently. If it's an edge node, mm -hmm. um, you know, those could be 10, 15, 20 year at the edge type life cycles. Um, so the standard operating is 10 years and we can scale beyond that. Very good. Thank you, Michael.